the gravity as such with the vehicle architecture is already very well prepared um, to ha actually handle robotaxi applications. But yeah, as you can see, on top there's a tiara now that uh, normally on the uh, gravity is not there. So that's what we had to add. And there also there are some slight changes on, on the sensors. And uh, if you look very closely, you can see it, but it's actually very nicely done that you, you don't, it's not very, you know, obvious. That's what we had to change and, you know, some compute unit changes. I mean, it is pretty pretty important because it opens for us a new market that we haven't really looked into before. Before we were focusing on you know B2C customers, you know the regular cars for for, for, for you and me, and which we still do obviously. Uh, but now with that uh, cooperation with Uber and others to come, uh, we now open the robot taxi market for us. So. It's, it's more like you know, expanding the application of our EV technology, which has been proven in the last couple of years to be industry leading. And with that cooperation, now we have a, another market to serve. I mean, physical AI is basically about AI in the real world. You can touch it, you can feel it, you can interact with it. And so self-driving vehicles are an amazing example of how AI is working. We use an AI autonomy foundation model that basically learns as it goes along. So as we're driving, as we're testing, both on-road and in simulations, um, it gets better and better at driving. So that means we can really quickly deploy it into new places, put it on new types of vehicles for logistics or for robo-taxis or even maybe someday for personally owned vehicles. But we also make sure that we have guardrails and validation so that it always acts in the safest possible manner because that's a very important part of self-driving vehicles. We are experts uh, in self-driving technology. We know how to uh, specify the correct sensors, 
do all of the testing, the development, the software, the AI models. Lucid makes an amazing vehicle. This vehicle is built in, in Arizona, and all of the hardware that we expect will actually be put in on the production line. And then nobody knows about you know, fleet management and, and mobility platforms better than Uber. So when you get three companies that are really the best at what they do coming together, that's really the way to make this technology uh, ubiquitous.